In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own liquid or fluid wallpapers on Android or iPhone. Because this is Wallpaper Wednesday. Before we get started, I will encourage you to pull out your phone and make this wallpaper with me. Because trust me, it is really fun to do. To get started, you will first have to install Toolbiz from the Play Store or Apple Store on iPhone. Obviously, Toolbiz is a free app not sponsored with way too many editing features to cover in one video. Fortunately for us, we will only be needing three of the editing tools so you don't have to feel overwhelmed. We will also install Unsplash client like Resplash or something similar on iPhone, where we will get our images from. In case you've been living under a rock or you're just an introvert gamer and don't know what Unsplash is, it is a website where you can get free images from and use them for whatever reason you want, completely free of cost. What you want to look for in Unsplash are images that has a good contrast in colors. A good thing about Resplash is that it shows you a color palette beneath every image which can be useful in this case. Since it's Spooktober, let's take this red one for example. This one has extreme reds and faded dark reds that I think will look really good as a wallpaper. So tap that top pop-up button and download it to your gallery. Then open it up in Toolwiz. If you like this setup that I'm using, it is called Dash Cards and I have made an entire video on this that you can check out in the card above and link in the description. Once you're inside Toolwiz, tap on the Pro Editing and then select your photo. Go to Tools and open up Reshape. Go to Reshape Settings and pull your d Go to Reshape Settings and crank up everything to 100. Make sure Extrusion is selected. Now all you have to do is liquefy the image in different directions. Here are some do's and don'ts for the best results. Don't liquefy in a circle. Unless you're going for a specific aesthetic, do it in a circle, otherwise it just doesn't look great. What you should do though is liquefy in a direction. That way you get a pattern and it looks more artistic. Kind of like the effect you get when you mix colors in water. That's basically the effect we're going for here. Liquefy your image enough so that you can't even tell what the image even was. Once you're happy with what you have made, tap the tick icon to save your changes. This on itself looks awesome, but if you zoom in, it looks extremely sharp and weird. So what we will do to fix that sharpness is we will add a smudge effect that is located inside effects menu. Zoom into your image and go through each smudge intensity. I personally like to go for a level 5 or 6 because it is not too much and not too less. I'm sure you have used PixArt before, so here's a question for you. Which one do you think is more powerful, Toolwiz or PixArt? Let me know in the comments below. I've been using Toolwiz for a few days and I think Toolwiz definitely outperforms PixArt in many ways. But I'd love to know what you think. Alright, now this looks awesome, but if you look at the ones I've created, you'll notice that it has this light glow in some areas. I tried it as an experiment once on Photoshop and I'm glad I did because it adds another layer of, I guess, an aesthetic. <laughs> I don't know what word I'm looking for, but let's add that effect. But first we have to blur it a little bit. So go into photography and add a five radius blur. Go for a reasonable amount so we can still see the lines good enough. Then save this into your gallery in the highest available quality because we will be importing it in the next step. Tap the history icon at the top, then select your previous history, which will be reshape. Let's import that back in by going into layer instead tools. Tap the add icon and select it from your gallery. Scale it up and fit it to your canvas, then select green or lighten blend mode from the list, or really any blend mode that adds some sort of glowing effect. Then let's open up the erase menu and clear the selection by tapping clear. Let's keep the brush size 50 and increase feathering all the way to 100. Now you just have to brush around the image where you want the glow effect to be visible. What I like to do is choose a color I want the glow on. For example the reds in this case and brush over them. That way it doesn't look inconsistent. And, and it looks like some areas of the images are light sources. And it looks unique. You can also adjust to opacity for glow if the effect is too much. Once you're done with your selection, you just have to save it to your gallery and set it as your wallpaper. If you followed this tutorial and made a wallpaper, please share it with me on Twitter at GrabsterTV because I would love to see what you make. If you enjoyed this video, then check out my other tutorial where I show you how to set three different wallpapers on three different screens on Android. Tap the card above or link in the description to check it out. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and tap that bell so you don't miss any future videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.